Hey guys, James here. I thought I'd bring a different little video today. Well, this is going to be another half star video. I'll do one or two games. Well, I'll start off by showing you a couple of my new cards that I've got. Oh, so, oh some of the good cards I've got anyway from my collection. So, Druid, of Noel, two Power of the Wilds, all the common stuff. Common stuff's not really that. But one Bite. I need to improve on that. I've got one Keeper of the Grove. Card. One nourish. Gain two mana crystals or draw three cards. Could be really good. I typically stick with innovate. Because it's free. But this could be a very good useful late game if you run out of cards. Starfall. A nice a nice AoE. Or oh, kind of like just like Starfire. Pretty much, but if you need a Starfire, this'll do just as well. If you've got Starfire and you've got big board full of weenies and you need to get rid of, this will be much better. Uh, as you can see, I have the big da oh wait, the big daddy over here, Scenarius. Legendary. Quite a beast, I think you saw me an annihilating Richard with this thing. It's quite it's quite a damn beastly powerful card this. Give everything plus two plus two. Or if you got a nice board full of strong guys, I think you can send this out, buff them even more, or if you got if you've got any taunt and you're desperate, can send this out, get two triants with taunt. Hunter deck. I have one misdirection secret. Uh, useful late game if somebody's got an absolute monster out. But other than that, it's not too good. Uh, as you can see, Span High, man. I don't have the best Hunter specific cards. I've got like three. Oh, Scavenging Hyena is pretty powerful, but yeah, that's, that's pretty crap, really. The mages, Ice Lance, Mana Worm, Commons, Ice Barrier can be quite annoying. The Rents, a really good late game. Blizzard, very powerful attack, got two of them, coming handy. Also, Pyroblast, really piss people off. <laughs> Paladin deck, got quite a bunch, quite a bunch of a Paladin cards. Two Argent Protectors. I'm really good if you have a, a deck based on Divine Shield, which I'm thinking about building when I get some more Divine Shield people. Equality, really annoying card. <laughs> and Divine Favor. U useful late game if you burn out and you against maybe a Warlock or someone with lots of card draw. Or against a Rogue who just uses a Sprint, then you basically get free Sprint. But well, not free, yeah. You get a Sprint for 3 cost rather than 7. Which is pretty nice. Blessed Champion, double a minion's attack. Good late game if you want to just smash a guy into the ground before he can recover. Holy Wrath, very RNG. Not particularly good in my opinion. I don't really like luck based stuff, although I do like it. It's fun, but I don't really like it. Priest deck. Now, this is where we've had a bit of change. I finally got a light well, which is one of the most annoying things in the game. If you just get this out early on, it's noobs, they'll just ignore it and it'll sit there healing everything back up again and they don't know what to do. Master spell. Pretty damn good. Silence and draw a card. Kind of like, a bit, I don't know if you say it's better than Spellbreaker or not, I'm not sure. Shadow Madness. Very nice card, I used that to end someone the other day. Control of a minion with three or less attack until the end of the turn, though. You need it really. There are some better cards than that. Like, for example, well, it's not. Really. It's, uh, Shadow Priest. Take control of an enemy minion that has two or less attacks, so it's not as good. But you t you don't lose control at the end of the turn, it's yours forever. So you can use this to take care of a big. Oh, you know, that was it, Mogashem Warden, 1 7 taunt. Guy brings it out thinking, it's like the last ditch effort, he's thinking, ah, you'll never get through this. Well, boom, this guy comes out, and then he just rage quits because you've just screwed him up the ass so badly. He'll... Yeah. Temple Enforcer, nice card. Three health to a minion. You can use this in combination with, uh, what's it called? Inner Fire. And Divine Spirit. Buff somebody up really high. Uh, at this point, uh, last time, uh, uh, last four. So I'm playing, I managed to get a 28-28 Prophet Valen. <laughs> In one match, and the guy couldn't do anything about that. But here we are. Here's the big daddy, Prophet Valen, legendary. 
doubles damage healing spell, healing of your spells and hero power. Nice. That is good. 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Really strong. It's not got too many downsides in my opinion. Can be taken out reasonably easily, but I mean, you can get this guy out and if the guy doesn't have anything to take care of it, you can just keep healing yourself up and you, you, you won't go down. You can't do any damage to you. Now, Rogue. I don't use Rogue much. I've got two SI7 agents. I've got a gold one. Head crack. Master of Disguise. It'll be useful if you... Well, I, I don't know what I would use that on really, actually. Save. But as you can see, I don't have many Rogue cards. I don't know why. Shamans. Now, Forked Lightning. I've got quite a few Overload cards. But I don't... I haven't built an Overload deck particularly yet. I would like to do one around the Earth Unbound Elemental, but we'll see, maybe. Feral Spirit, that's a nice card. That's just kind of like uh, the Mage's Mirror... mirror uh, what's it called? Mage, Mage, yeah, Mage. Mirror Image, yeah, there you go. Just like that, but better in my, better in my opinion, because you get, you get two, two threes with Taunt. It does cost you two Overload next turn, so that's pretty meh, but not too bad, I guess. And two Earth Elementals. These are damn powerful. However, every time I do get a chance to use them, I happen to be facing a mage who always polymorphs them. And then it's like, well, can't play anything next turn because I've just got three Overload. Brilliant. <laughs> now, Warlocks. Blood Imps. Really useful to annoy people as well. You can make really annoying decks with these. Same with flame imps, but I normally just kill myself accidentally while well, I'm not trying. Void terror. This can be really powerful as well. Stick this in between two really powerful uh, cards. <laughs> you know, if they're close to death or something. Into attack and health. Oh, uh, what, what you want to do is you want to attack the minions first, send this guy out, kill the two strong guys, get shite loads of attack, and then it's pretty much game over from that point sometimes. Just try one of your mana crystals. <laughs> Fell guy. E e e I, I don't know why you'd want that, really, because you can have a Ascension Shield Master, which is 3 5 for 4, with taunt, but that doesn't destroy one of your mana crystals, so why you would use that, I don't know. Shadow Flame. Nope. Uh, it depends. If you have something particularly strong out, this could be, like, you can say a Dread Infernal, and then you use that, you've got a really strong, effective Flame Strike. A Pit Lord. Epic. Can be good if it doesn't just get fireballed or polymorphed and then, or sent back to your hand with a Shadow Step. Yep, otherwise you just kill yourself. Now my warriors. I have the rare upgrade. I've never actually got a chance to use that yet, really, so I'm not sure how good that is. Commanding shout. I've never used that either. I don't know why. I'm not sure. I particularly would. Pens. Of course, that's my frothing berserker. Yeah. Not really got around to using that. I think I prefer Gorobashi berserker in general than that. Just because it's got so much more attack. By the time it dies, anyway. Mortal Strike. What damage to your hero? If your hero has uh, 12 or less health, then it'll 6 damage. So, good late game. If you just need that extra bit of power just to take somebody down. Arati Weaponsmith. Can be useful in the game. If you want to build a uh, weapon based deck. And let's look at some of our neutral cards. Angry Chicken. Now that... Yeah. I, I thought about... Sticking that in my priest deck. But then I thought, nah, no point. Secret Keeper, never never use that. I haven't built any secret decks at the moment. <laughs> Can be good. Crazed Alchemist. Swaps the attack and health of the minion. Can be useful, say, I don't know, maybe late game. If you've got something out. That's got, you know... Oh, actually, well, uh, if, if if your enemy has something out that's got really high attack but low health, because it's been taking a beating, and you think you're going to go down next turn, this is your only play, you could swap it swap it round, 
so it can't so it can't kill you. Oh, knife juggler, one of my favourite cards to use. I think you've seen. Pretty strong in um, uh, early game, but I've only got one. Oh, I need to craft another one if I can, but they're quite expensive. Hundred to craft, but pretty good, pretty good card. But uh, rogues have a habit of just walking up and going, "Oh look, backstab," and yeah, it's pointless. Mana addict. Nice in a mage deck. In fact, it could be nice in a paladin deck or even in a priest deck, but. Yeah, that'd be good. As long as you can keep it alive. Early game, you can get quite a strong. You could get potentially quite a strong card, but it's pretty damn weak. It go down quite easily. Pint size summoner. Really nice if you got a lot of high cost minions and you want to get them out early. I might consider that in another one of my decks. Cold Light Seer. Uh, if you're a Merlot deck, this would be perfect. Gives all Merlocks plus two health right there. All of them. That is pretty powerful because if you know, if you're a Merlot deck is just asking for a consecration and they all go down pretty much. So that could be really useful. Demolisher, good card if you can keep it alive, but it's also a bit lucky. It does two damage every turn. So something random. Emperor Cobra, nice card. It's pretty much a guaranteed kill as long as you hit something with it. Mages, or anything that can remove it, Hammer of Wrath. Or even if you're a warrior and you want to use your uh, the little, uh, what's it called, it's not four jacks on it. Then it kind of gets rid of it, but still, it's only a three cost, so you don't t lose too much. Ninja Blade Master, good in a Priest deck. That's a point, I might have to stick with my Priest deck. Because he comes out, he cuts himself for some reason, because he's an idiot. But if you heal him back up, that's quite a strong play on turn three. Now, oh, what else do I have? Questing Adventurer. Whenever you play card game, plus one, plus one. If you've got a lot of card draw, nice. If you don't, then you're going to burn out, and then you've got a really strong Questing Adventurer that could just get polymorphed or something, and then, yep. Yeah. Or even Silence when you play it, that could be a problem. Now, oh. Defender of Argus, one of my favourite cards. Very useful late game if you need some taunt. If you don't have much taunt in your deck, pull this guy out. Bam, you've got two taunts straight away. It's also useful if you just need that one extra health to take down, to take, oh, you have to trade out for some strong minion. Send that guy out, buff your guy up, take him out. Spellbreaker, nice card. Silverman Guardian, I like it, but I don't think I'm going to be using it too much anymore because it's pretty weak. Now, get your Sun Auctioneer. Good card draw in a mage deck. I don't really particularly use it. Twilight Drake. Really useful in some Warlock decks. Life tap frequently. Get a big big handful. Play this. And if you Oh yeah, the main goal would be to get you know better than a four or five. Because right here. Is it right here? Two and Yeti, four five for four. This is a four cost. Four attacks. So you basically want this to be as good as a Yeti, otherwise it's not worth it. Now we have Abomination. Okay, I guess. Can be useful. Can be useful to use just as a bit of uh, AoE on its own, but it'll wipe out your own team if you're not if you're not paying much attention. Stampede and Coral, now this is a nice card. Destroy a random enemy minion with one attack or less. So somebody's got a Mogashan Ward now. Throw this guy get down, he goes down. Anything strong with two attack or less. Even a Gurubashi Berserker before it gets a chance to buff itself up. Throw this guy down. And you take it out of the game nice and quick. Argent Commander, you've seen this before. Charge, Divine Shield. Really nice card. You can throw it out. You can get an extra hit on the uh, hero without losing your shield. Very nice. Gelby Mecha Talk. Absolutely stupidly annoying flipping card. Now, I got this for paying into the beta. I thought that it were worth it. And really nice. Really entertaining and really annoying at the same time. Oh yeah, what's this? Oh yeah, Frost Elemental. That's a, that is another annoying card. But really useful if you've got, uh, I don't know, maybe you're coming up against somebody who's got a 
really strong attacking creature and you don't have enough mana to take care of it this turn you can send this guy out freeze it so it can't attack slowing down I have Ravenholt Assassin really strong stealth but weak to fireball could even be flame struck and then pinged not the best thing but I have not used it yet myself Sunwalker this is a brilliant card Taunt, Divine Shield you're generally guaranteed to get 2 for 1 ish or at least damage 2 for 1 you can't really do much better than that in case the mage it can be annoying because your shield can be pinged off or it could also be pulling off the half out. The worst thing is uh, Black Knight is designed, the legendary is designed to come out and screw you over when you play this. Thumbs up, goodbye. I also have a gold, I have a gold Ravenholt Assassin which I could disenchant for 100 gold but nah I'm not going to. Molten Giant, now here's an interesting idea. If you're in a wallet deck, say, and you're busy life tapping, playing flame imps, damaging yourself. Cost one less for each damage your hero's taken. If you're down to 10 health, this is free. This is an 8-8 eight, eight for free if you're down that low. Which I have been down that low before at turn 6. And then I end up yeah, losing. Because to uh, two fireballs against the mage. Well, eh, could be better. 